Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Haven1234 bringing you a video on how to hook up a normal stereo speaker up to, to your car as a subwoofer. Okay, so it's not going to be as good as a real subwoofer with an amp, but you're still going to get that booming effect. So I'm going to be doing a demo in the car. The camera that I'm using has a noise cancellation feature and it doesn't seem to be picking up the bass. So, uh, the only way you can really figure out how much bass it uses, or whatever you want to say, is to do it yourself. I'll be doing a trunk demo too, to show you how much bass is going to be giving, but the noise cancellation feature is just, for some reason, canceling out the bass and making it a lot more quieter inside of the car which I'm really, really upset about because I can't show you guys how good it is without an amp. So, this is the kind of speaker I'm going to be using. Let's hope you guys can see. We've got a six inch subwoofer, a two inch tweeter, and your air outlets, whatever. It's a normal stereo speaker. Just to prove it to you that it's not a subwoofer, we've, so you can see, the, got the regular red and black cords that hook up to a uh, stereo which yeah so we're gonna hook this baby up to Honda Civic sitting over there and we'll show you the bass with the noise cancellation so we'll see how that goes so we're gonna head over to the trunk and I'll show you how to hook it up Okay, so here's the trunk of my car. Right here is the stereo speaker being pressed up against the back seat that pushes the bass and the sound into the front of the car and uh, vibrates the back seat a little, so I guess it's kind of cool. Right over here, we'll call that the main, that white part, the power outlet, the main, whichever. And we're hooking up those red and black cords into it. So I'm going to go freehanded and show you a more close-up look of how to do it. And um, it's going to be freehanded, so please excuse the shakiness. So here we go. Okay, so I'm now freehanding. As you can see, it's already starting to shake. So this is what you do. So we'll show you right off the like scratch. This here, we'll call the main or the power outlet, but for short, we're going to call it the main. you got to figure out which hole you need to use. For me, it's these slim little ones. And which one's the positive and the negative. The only way you're going to find that out is by plugging it in and uh, turning it on. And then plugging it in the other ways and turning it on and see which one's better or if it works or not. So, after you're done plugging it in and figuring out which one's the best, cover it over with some tape. When you're done doing that, press your subwoofer up against the back seat like that and if you want hold it in place with a rope or a bungee cord you know the ones with the hooks or whatever. I'm just gonna leave it free-handed right here for the video so I can tip it over and show you how much it flexes and a little bit more bass so that you guys have a better idea. But remember inside of the car when we're doing a demo it's not picking up the bass because of the noise cancellation, so please excuse that. And remember to try it for yourself to see the full amount. Okay, we are now inside of the car. It's not started yet. But remember, no matter how big of the subwoofer is in the back without an amp, you're not going to get much power because it's only picking up as much as the car will let it. With an amp, you're going to get a much better sound. So here's the stereo. We're going to start up my standard Honda Civic. Okay, so here we go. Man, it's hot in here. It's not going to be very good, so... Hey. Put your arms out front, lean side to side They gon' be on 
for you when they see you hit that dirty ride. Ain't nobody fitting with my bro from on the side. He go by Bubba and he hit that dirty Okay, I ain't from Dallas, but I need town boogie. I show my moves on the everybody. We're gonna head over to the trunk and I'll show you the subwoofer flipped over and how much bass it's producing. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so it's only on 20 out of 40. So this is half volume. So, as you can see, it's producing quite a bit of bass. I'm quite happy with it. And as you can see, the little air fresheners were bouncing around. Alright, so we're going to head back over on the tripod and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Alright, so we went and did a demo. Please excuse me if uh, you can't see me fully because I had it on a pause feature and I can't really see how well I'm visible. So we hooked it up to the car and we seen that it was decent and remember that the noise cancellation was uh, blocking it out and I got a bug on my nose. And no matter how big the subwoofer is, this is a 6, you can have a 12, you can have a 24, without an amp it's not going to produce more bass the bigger the speaker. So this is just for uh, if you're on limit for money or if you just have a speaker bouncing around and you just want to try it out a little bit more bass whatever. So I was looking around on YouTube and I couldn't find any other videos that really demonstrated this so I thought why not. So thank you for watching. This was obviously a demo and a how-to video on how to hook up stereo speakers to your car. Um, so, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below how I could have done my video better. Uh, what you guys want next for my video. Whatever you can think of. So, thank you for watching and I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.